Shalom, we're the real Brazilites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying his truth and the return of the Heavenly Father, which is prophecies found in the Holy Scriptures. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rachak Radash, which is the Heavenly Father's name, whom the world ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus, and Baha Rachak Radash is in the Holy Spirit, because through the Holy Spirit we're able to worship the Father the correct way and understand the Bible. And teach the Bible as it should be taught to receive salvation. And double honor to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, whom the most I set up, and all the men that labored in this truth before and after our elders, giving his word, teaching it the correct way, the 100%, as the doctrine says he should be doing, standing boldly. I basically want to go into this topic about reincarnation, man. You know? Not the Hinduism, Hinduism and Buddha, the uh, like the Buddhist idea of reincarnation, but the biblical understanding version of reincarnation, and touching on a few points out of the scriptures. But um, this is the online etymology dictionary for reincarnation. It says the fact of repeated incarnation. Re means back again. Incarnation meaning a new embodiment, which means in the flesh. You know act of being made flesh so the word reincarnation means back in the flesh man so your spirit is the same you know the spirit is energy it's a part of the uh it's a part of the most high he's called the father of spirits so your spirit never dies okay and that alone cuts the hell doctrine as well but this hebrews 12 and 9 for the more we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of Spirits and live? So the Father of Spirits is talking about the Most High, the Creator of all things seen and unseen. Just as you obey your earthly father and parents, which is the commandment of our from our God, amongst you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the same way you honor your father and your mother, same way you honor the Lord, man, the Father of Spirits. That giveth all spirits, man. But we know that this body decays and the spirit go back to the most high. And that's in the scriptures, man. We're gonna get that too. Um one second. Uh it's the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter three. And verse um, 15, that which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and God requires that which is past. And we use this scripture to bring understanding to the topic of reincarnation because your spirit is that which has been is now. And the spirit that's going to come after once your body decay. It already been here before, man. You know, it already had a uh, a, diff a, di a different embodiment, you know. Same spirit, new body, man. And then when you jump down, it tells you, verse 20, all goeth unto one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to the dust again, you know. And it tells you that the spirit of man goeth upward and go back to the, to the most side, the Father Spirit who gave it. And your body just go back to the ground, the elements which we were made from, man. So that's one point proven reincarnation. Get some more link ups and scriptures. Actually, we can hop into some points that the prophets and whom the world even called Jesus made. This is Matthew 16 and verse 14. Let's see if you view the fourth chapter. Okay. Start at verse 13. Matthew 16 and 13. When Yahweh Shai, when we called Jesus, came into the coast of Caesarea Philip, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art the John the Baptist, some Elias, others Jeremiah, and one or one of the prophet, prophets, and Elijah, I mean Elijah, and others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter 
answered and said, Thou art the anointed, the son of the living power, which is Yahweh Hamashiach. Just Hamashiach is the Hebrew word to say, You're the anointed. Yahweh is the Hebrew word to say, Our Savior, our Lord and Savior, the only begotten. So the fact, based off this conversation, which is written for our learning according to the scriptures, man, this was written right here for our learning. And the fact that they're having this dialogue and this conversation, supposing that the Son of God is rather John the Baptist, Elijah, or Jeremiah, or, or the other the prophets, they knew and understood that reincarnation is a common thing. Just as they knew and understood back then, divine intervention was a common thing. Just they knew and understood back then the commonwealth and uh, the 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 um the royalty which we come from, man. You know, but Diana being cut off, we come back in these new bodies and we have to learn again. We have to be taught again, you know, which proves reincarnation. So we got another scripture real quick. This um Matthew 17 and verse 10. And his disciples asked him, saying, when they say the scribes, so like when his disciples asked him, saying, why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? And how shall I say it unto them? Elias truly shall, Elijah truly shall come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elijah has come already and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise, also shall also the son of man suffer them then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of john the baptist because john the baptist suffered things man john the baptist came to teach and prepare the way just as a servant just as a prophet will do you know but he let the fact that this was written here in his dialogue and he told them elijah shall come and restore things and he told them elijah came already and they didn't know it and they did whatever they want because they didn't perceive him to be Elijah. They looked on the hour of parents and they just thought he was a regular man, John, you know. But his spirit is of a greater calling. His connection with God is of a greater calling, man, which is another point proving reincarnation to be real based upon biblical text, which is the most accurate reference, most reliable reference and text on the face of the earth in which scholars know it, man, at least know it. You know, and if reincarnation were real, you know, that means, as the scripture says, we finna get it real. People gonna stand in their lots, man, and be doing what they uh, was destined and set up on this earth and had their calling to do. Uh, yeah, that's it on that. Uh, stand and lot. Everybody's gonna stand in their lot, man. The scripture says, let the righteous be righteous still, let the... Uh, Holy be holy still, let the wicked be wicked still, man. This is Daniel 12 and 13. But go thou thy way till the end be. But thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. Rest means, to, you know, perish, body, decay to the ground, spirit, go back to the Most High. And stand in your lot, what you was predestined to do in the end times, in the end of days. Because the Lord also told the prophets that they was going to prophesy again this revelation is another point 10 and 9 and i went unto the angel and said unto him give me the little book and he said unto me take it and eat it and it shall make thy belly bitter but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey and i took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey but as it but soon as it had i had eaten it my belly was bitter and he said unto me thou must prophesy again before many peoples nations and tongues and kings and he was letting know he's gonna prophesy again, you know. When was that gonna take place? Uh, 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 John the Revelator prophesying again after he perished, uh, not in vain, but on the island of Patmos, man. That had to take place, which is another point proving reincarnation, man. He's gonna prophesy again, standing in his lots, teaching, living again, looking how he looked with a different name, same spirit. Hey, this is Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and, key, key point, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. When did the disciples and apostles preach in the uttermost parts of the earth? According to the New Testament, they was over there at, and you know, the so-called, um, uh, 
Eastern Hemisphere, man, at that uh, at that time, you know, up in different parts of uh, uh, Italy, man, and Europe. The different letters that Paul wrote to the uh, brothers scattered in Rome, man, and in our homeland. But the uttermost parts of the earth would be opposite of that known inhabited land, man, which is over here in Americas, man. Okay. But the, again, another key point proven reincarnation. This, um, we're going to grab this and hold it on deck, Malachi. that more key points this is uh the ecclesiastic is also known as a rock 27 verse 9 the birds will resort into their light so were truth return unto them that practice in her so the spirit of truth the spirit of understanding is going to return unto those that practice in it because the lord prayed for those okay he said i pray for them i pray not for the world and he told and promised his disciples his servants and those that believe he was going to give them a spirit of understanding to spirit of understanding to know and to overcome the world and that is in the Hebrew, Baha or Hakodash, in the Holy Spirit, man. This Psalms 94 and 15. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. So though the, uh, the scripture says, My sheep hear my voice, and they follow the lamb, whithersoever he goeth. We yeah, we understand all have sin. Okay, but the those that's predestined to be elect and follow and hear the words of the Lord and wake up. Hey, they're, they're going to be upright in heart, man, which proves reincarnation, okay? Because, again, judgment is going to return unto the, unto the righteous, the elect, and all the upright in the heart shall follow, which is the elect, which is going to follow the true ways, which now is being made manifest. Um, it is Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all the kings of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, Alma. And that's what it is. And this is dealing with the second coming of whom the even called Jesus Christ. It says, all shall see him, man. Even those that pierced him. Those that pierced him, it didn't happen over here in America. It happened over there. And when when the Romans was ruling over us, man. In our, in, in our land, suppose, in our land. But what, was, was we in full control? No. So the people that pierced him then, they been died off, man. But when he come back, they're going to be back as well. N new body, same spirit. And they're going to stand in their lot to receive their judgment. Just as the righteous is going to be righteous still, the wicked is going to be wicked still. Just key points proving reincarnation. And a, a heavy point to just end it off with, man. Is Malachi 4 and verse 4. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him at Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and the judgment. And these statutes and these judgments and commandments is the same ones we're waking up to. We were the same people and descendants of them same people that received the law, statutes, and commandments through divine intervention and being led out of Egypt under our oppressors, the so called Africans, man. We are, we, we, them same people, man. And we must wake up and repent and we'll come back into the law, statutes, and commandments. But read on, this is the point proving reincarnation, man. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, Yahweh. And, ye shall t and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. So that's how I come and smite the earth with a curse. So before the Lord brings judgment, wrath, he sends prophets. And we know the job of the prophet and what the prophet do. And a prophet get a reward, man. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of even of pestilence. And guess what? All the prophets are back. The Lord said he sent all his prophets saying, do not this is abominable thing that the Lord hate. You know? So... And going back into this Malachi, key point is Malachi dealing with the Lord sending Elijah the prophet that deals directly with our elders and with our apostles, whom we also a, pioneer, a heavy pioneer in this truth amongst many others 
but this the main focal point of this this elder right here man you see this mighty man elder abba bivens okay through the spirit okay and through faith we believe that he is elijah the prophet because he embodied the uh returning and keeping the commandments he embodied you know to the best ability as a spirit measure he embodied the going out and teaching you know he embodied the, who the um descendants of abraham isaac and jacob were according to deuteronomy according to the curses according to the uh charts the 12 tribes charts man the waking up of the israelites the valley of the dry bones the two sticks coming together which when we have the 12 charts out there we identify who's who based off the trials tribe charts and based off the curses and based off the prophecies written which all links up you know and in the, in the way the elder abba bivens taught and the man that he had with him man you know you know the uh a it was all divine and it was all set up for the lord to wake up the northern the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom the negroes latinos native american tribes you know the spanish-speaking brothers man the mexicans and abba bivens had brothers with him teaching that was bilingual that go by the name of barack which is the hebrew word bless and they was able to do the ministry and push the word man which branched off into what you see today man men knowing their heritage and camps waking up to the truth you know and you got good and bad in that you got you got lies amongst israel but the lord is going to sort all that out the lord is going to make known point of this lesson is reincarnation is real man and you know i just hit major key points this being major above all man that the lord is going to send his prophet that proves reincarnation the disciples spoke about reincarnation different scriptures proves reincarnation in the scriptures to be real man so, Lord willing, hope the last was edifying. Want to give all praises and glory on the two, the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, El Shah, that want us to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, whom the Most High set up to push his word on truth, sincerity, and charity, and continue to grow there and diligently what they have been taught by their elders. You know, Shalom to all those brothers that labor in this truth. You know, and other brothers that teach the proper doctrine that ain't called Great Millstone, but teach the truth and believe in it and hope to receive salvation in these last days. Shalom.